Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Micah from Epium and today we're going to take a look at how to make a custom background for your YouTube channel. This is our channel and what we did was we made a new background for it recently and we wanted something that had infinite scroll so every time you load more videos it will continue to scroll down so that it will look like the YouTube footer is part of the background and we're going to use a gradient to make that happen. Even though you're somewhat limited on YouTube by uh, how far you can go with your design and your template, there's still things that you can do to make it look professional and make it look like a clean website. The first thing that I did was I took a couple screenshots, three to be exact, one from the top of the browser on my YouTube channel, one from around the middle, and one from the bottom including the footer because we're going to make that gradient from the bottom that makes it look like one streamlined page. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to make a couple guides, one on each side of the center of uh, the YouTube content so that we can make a new layer and work behind it. I did this tutorial completely from scratch because I wanted to show you guys how to do it and give you the tools to be able to take something like this and create it yourself. Now let's take the marquee and we want to select the top of the pillar all the way down to the bottom, but we want to make sure that we have a little bit of the YouTube header in there uh, as a guide. And then once that's selected, we're just going to hit Command J and that will duplicate the layer, which will be our layer one. Now we want to select our screenshot layer and we're going to marquee out the bottom YouTube footer because we're going to need to clean it up and use this as our gradient. Once again, we'll hit Command J and that will be our layer two. Then we're going to make a new layer and we're going to position it above the screenshot layer and we're going to use fill and we're going to use a pattern uh, that's from our website and you're welcome to use any color or a solid color or your own pattern if you want to match uh, some other website of yours. This is simply what we used for ours because we wanted continuity between our YouTube channel and our website. So now let's select our layer 2 which is our footer layer and we're going to use the spot healing brush to clean up all of the words because we want a nice clean layer. And it looks like we missed a spot over on the side so we're going to hit the transparency lock and just make sure to clean that up. And once it looks good we can move on to the next step. So we're going to duplicate that layer and we're just going to nudge it up so that it sits right on top of that layer. And then we're going to duplicate it again and nudge it up and make sure that it sits right on top of the layer. And it looks like we got a couple blemishes so we'll clean that up. So we're going to count down about five, five and a half to six videos because that's where we want our background to be. Uh, we don't want to go any lower than that because it won't work correctly with our, how we're going to do our gradient. Uh, you may want to do it differently, it's totally up to you. This is just how we're doing it for our personal page. And before you move on, make sure that all of your footer layers look decent because once you merge them together and add the gradient, if there's uh, anything messed up in there, you're going to have to repeat all of these steps. And now we're going to command click select on our layer 2 and highlight our screenshot layer and duplicate that. And we're going to rename that newly created layer YouTube. Once it's renamed, we want to move it all the way above all of the other footer layers. And we're going to select all of the previous footer layers and we're going to group them together. And we're going to rename it footer. Then we're going to duplicate that group and make a new layer and merge the new layer with the footer copy. And that's going to be our entire footer layer. Then we're going to add a layer mask and we're going to choose gradient and hold shift and just try a couple times until we get it right. Uh, sometimes it'll take a while until it looks perfect. Do what you can, however you want it to look. And this one looks pretty good, so we'll stick with that. And then re-enable the layer one with the center content 
and we want to lasso out the top of this here because our background is not going to show through it. And we'll just hit delete to clear it out. And then deselect. And we'll move that layer one all the way to the top. Now I'm going to show you guys all of our stills. Uh, this was one idea that we had where we were going to put just stills all the way down each side, kind of like uh, the Safari top sites. Uh, we ended up going a different route, but that's an idea that you might be able to work with. Uh, we ended up making a composite background and we used several different screenshots. Uh, all of our videos are 1920 by 1080, so they were nice high quality screenshots. And we just masked them all out uh, using the pen tool and various brush sizes and whatnot, just to get it so that they're all blended together. You guys could do anything here. This is where your creativity comes in and all of the coolness that is your channel, you want to make sure that you do what you can to make it awesome. You don't need to make your background look exactly like ours, but this is just a, a way to give you guys an idea of what you can do and how graphic design works with website design and whatnot. And then on the right side, there was a couple things that we cleaned up uh, just to make sure that it looked a, a bit more professional. Um, on this uh, fire and lightning one, there was a, a little tube in the background, so we wanted to get rid of that. And then on the lightning hand, uh, we actually had part of the finger was cut off in the frame, so we needed to go and add that tip of the finger in, and I just blended it together and overlapped it using a mask on the bottom photo. And the very bottom photo from our short film, Who Am I? We actually just uh, duplicated it several times and used the heel tool to make it a little bit longer. Then we had a, a couple ideas that we wanted to use for the bottom. We looked at splatter ideas, it didn't really fit, so we ended up going with a gradient so that the fall off goes onto the background and then the background goes onto the gradient at the bottom. And we thought that looked a, a lot more clean and streamlined. So now what we want to do is we want to add a guide to uh, the top part of what we're going to use as our background. And we want to add it right below the YouTube header and that's why I said leave a little bit of it so that we can use it as a guide later. And then for the bottom guide, we're just going to command click the YouTube layer and then drag the guide down to it. And we're going to duplicate layer 3 and duplicate layer 4. And we're going to highlight our stills layer, our layer 4 copy and our layer 3 copy and we're going to group all of them together. And we're going to call that group final. And then we're going to take that final group and we're going to duplicate it and make a new layer and then merge that new layer, layer 6, with our final copy. And that'll be our final comp. And we'll zoom all the way out and marquee the entire background and command copy. And then we're going to make a new document and paste it in. And we're going to switch back to our composite because we need a copy of the YouTube footer without the words on it. So we're going to command click the YouTube layer and then we're going to highlight layer 4 and we're going to copy it. And in our newly created document we're going to paste it and drag it all the way down to the bottom. And we're going to add a mask and we're going to gradient that out as well. Once it looks good. We're going to merge all of the layers and then we're going to save it and we want to name it whatever your background is. We're just going to go with uh, YouTube BG and our format's going to be JPEG and we'll hit save 
and then our JPEG options is going to pop up and we want to make sure that we stay under one meg. If we go above one meg, YouTube doesn't like that. So 11 quality is a little bit too high for this, so we're going to go back down to 10 and it looks good. So we'll hit OK. And we're going to go over to the YouTube website and we're going to hit settings and choose file and we're going to select that YouTube background and open. And here's a couple important things. First of all, make sure scrolling is on and no repeat and choose color. This is the most important thing. Make sure you select clear selected color and then hit accept. If you don't clear selected color, the gradient won't work at the bottom. Then hit done editing and let's take a look. And as you can see, it looks pretty good. The, the gradient lines up well. And when you load more videos, the gradient continues to go down and the footer looks like one long extended footer. Hopefully this will give you guys some cool ideas on how to create your own unique backgrounds. You could do something simple or something extremely complicated using composite techniques like we did for ours. Or you could just throw on a patterned background, uh, put some subscribe words on the side, maybe your Twitter, Facebook, call it good. If this helped you guys out, please give us a thumbs up and please leave us a comment so that we can check out your pages and see what kind of uh, cool backgrounds you guys did. Make sure to check out our previous tutorial on our Hunger Games composite, our previous video, what's in the f***ing box, and please make sure to subscribe to Epium. We have new videos coming out every week, and you guys don't want to miss it. Thanks again, and have a great week. Later.